I'm back. Another episode. Episode two. First episode was a good one. I enjoyed that. Everything just seemed to be a little level up from the, the, the prior seasons, and that's good. That's good. And that's not no shade. That's not a read. Nothing for nobody, for the prior castmates, for production. Nobody. It's just an observation. So we're going to keep this open and short. Let's get into episode two. I'm Auntie Carell from Minority Report Podcast. New episodes every single Monday. Subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Also, if you listen to the podcast, leave us a review. Leave us a review on like Apple Podcasts and Spotify. That helps our numbers. That helps us just know what we need to do, do better, what you enjoy, and all that good stuff. But hopefully you leave us a five star. And even if you don't like us, leave us a five star. And then just DM us what the feedback is. That will just continue to help a black-owned business. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, here we go. Let's get into the episode. Drop the header. Like I said last episode, Terrence dressed for the, the renaissance, darling. <laughs> I got that silver on. All right. This episode, I'm going to look up. I put this on the other screen. I don't know if I like looking down. At the screen or up at the screen, we'll see. Who knows? Baby, welcome to Atlanta. I mean, you, you got to cross your T's, dot your I's, and your J's. <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah, you learned. You learned. You going to learn today in Atlanta. That's all I know. Hopefully, you ain't spent too much. It wasn't a good look at all. So, immediately, he started to go down for me. Sorry, my son. Well, you can't blame. I mean, come on, Terrence. Come on, Terrence. You can't do that from that jump. You know, he knew her to Atlanta or at least to throwing parties again. You know, it is what it is. He said it going down. That's too e That's too quick, Terrence. Come on. That's too quick to be judging somebody. Just be like, okay, you know, that wasn't that. But that ain't a judge of their character, really. So they just suck at throwing parties. Oh, he found him a second location that quick. Okay, <laughs> it was a paid event. Bus clown said, uh -uh, I paid for the rooftop, the ambiance. No, 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 ma'am. Not poolside, rooftop side. <laughs> I didn't know it was a paid event, though. That's a mess. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, Terrence, maybe I'm with you now since it was a paid event. That was just kicking it with friends and shit, you know. I don't, ooh, yeah. Bus clown, you look good, boo. You don't look exactly. all that way. We might be Any evidence of weed and alcohol, put it up. <laughs> oh, they all the way down on Cleveland Ave. Now, to my. <laughs> it's a whole shenanigan. This um, ruined your, your Saturday. Going here to there. Because Atlantic House to Cleveland Ave, that ain't close, if I recall. Oh, yeah, I'd be like, you know what? Give me my coin back. Let me just go home. I got to go to Kroger anyway. <laughs> Terrence over there yelling like a kid. Girl, you ain't got to yell. <laughs> we see you, girl. You're in silver. <laughs> we see you. We know you're upset. We got you. You're in silver. We see you, boo. <laughs> Reflecting and shit. Girl, you don't got to yell. Right. I feel like a homeless person that got over one location or another and grabbed my shit before the damn cop pulled me out to the goddamn last homeless place I was at. And I ain't even fucking homeless. And I ain't even fucking homeless. He went up a couple of octaves. Okay, girl, calm down. About to put you in it. It's like, oh, it's the star cap on it for me. It better be lit. Because if, if I was on there and had to go to three venues, like I said, I'm going to Kroger. I'm going to Kroger and take my ass home. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Let me fix his hair. I don't even feel like this was his place. I feel like it was somebody else's place that was in, in the shit, like... Like going through different places, like with us, it was like, "Girl, just use my shit." It was. Are you hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Terrence, you was over here saying you was homeless and trade and this and that, and you ain't you ain't giving that energy right now, girl. Come on now, you good? No, you wasn't good. <laughs> okay, sounds like a little bit of a justification, Chris John. <laughs> 
<laughs> Christian Benoit or whatever. I mean, you can't be that mad that they want their money back. You don't have them drive all around Atlanta in traffic, mind you. <laughs> and it's not the experience that you said it was going to be from the jump. So, I mean, that's customer service at the bare minimum. You can't be too upset with them. Yes, maybe the timing of asking for it. But, I mean, like, they in the moment, they they wanted the party, and now they're irritated. So, I mean, you can't judge them too bad. Yeah, yeah. It ain't an experience. It ain't the Atlanta experience. There's bars to this. You know, there's levels to the experience. This is foundational. <laughs> Whoa, why you got your hands on his face, though, girl? <laughs> Terrence turned up. You got them Renaissance shorts on. Turn it up. Mm-mm. Get, look at Buzz Clown. Look at mm-mm. But your second motherfucking impression better be to the fucking moon. Do you hear what I say? Okay, well, you better shake your ass to the moon. I'm not going to shake some ass. Nah, you ain't going to get out of this shit. Like, I'm going to forget. I'm going to forget. I like Terrence, but if he was giving me that energy... <laughs> Like, who are you? Like, who are you to tell me that your first impression is shake it to the moon and took it to the moon and everything? Okay, then, then don't show up. <sighs> I'm just an energy person. I'm an energy person. And even if you're that irritated, don't be putting your hands in my face and expecting me to have to do some expectation for you. <laughs> But I don't even really know you like that, you know. Maybe that's what I'm at. I can see if Christian don't, and Terrence end up having some beef later in this season, just from this alone, because it would rub me the wrong way too. And yes, I would be irritated with this pool situation, but I don't know if I would be all in someone's face like that. Yeah, that's a lot. One pool party that will go down in history. Three pool parties in one day. I don't know about that. You buy Lux Pleasures. He said, you got three for the price of one. <laughs> Anyone from Michigan? Two parks for the price of one. Twice the fun. Michigan Adventure. Anybody? Anyone from the Midwest know that? He said, you got three pool parties. You fucking lying. <laughs> Christian, you delusional. Hold on. I got to write that down to ask at the reunion. Hold on. Let me get my notebook out. <laughs> Depression is Liam back with the shirts this season. And Oh, then I never. Depression's a real thing. Got to check up on your friends and got to check up on yourself. Get that mental together, you know. And it's no shame in getting the help either, and asking for help, and going to to therapy and things like that. So again, good job so far in episode two, giving us you know maybe a little drama, a little mishap, if you will, but then also hitting on some some real notes that folks that look and sound like us need to talk about. So I'm here for it. Good job. Set it off Atlanta. So far, so good. It's the season two glow up for me. Okay. I'm sorry you're going through this, Liam. You know, we all go through those kind of like creative ruts and just being overwhelmed. And I know, honestly, even with doing this, the reviews, people are like, where you at? Where you at? I'm like, girl, I'm just tired. And not depressed. So I don't even want to like minimize depression because that's a legit thing or compare my situation to that because I'm not in a depressed state. But it's just like sometimes you just need a break. <laughs> a break from the, the norm. So like going to a cruise to get out of your just your, your rut of your same stuff week in, week out. Um, completely understandable. And uh, yeah, do, do, do it. Go. And if you need someone to go, let me know, girl. Come on now. Come on, Leo. See you in some Speedos and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you have seen my part-time boyfriend before he was my makeup artist before he was my boyfriend he he very well does know that's his title um and it what means to be a part-time boyfriend to me is when you are eligible to be with me part of the time but you still got some stuff you need to work on behind the scenes before we can make a commitment together to call each other what we need to call each other to be beneficial <laughs> He said, you're my part-time boyfriend. Okay, now. And he said, you got shit to work on, not me. <laughs> we all got shit to work on. But okay, now, I'm still there. I'm writing that down. Part-time boyfriend. I'm going to go tell that to my part-time husband. <laughs> and let's see how that go, though. If this is the last time you see me, you know he did it. And it looks like he went on like some Alaskan cruise. I do want to go on an Alaskan cruise so bad. 
very, very bad. Before all these glaciers be melting, before the glaciers melt away, you know, this global warming, whether you believe it or not, I don't give a fuck. These glaciers are disappearing <laughs> and I want to see them before they disappear. Where the audio? Okay, they ain't got no audio. It was probably too windy out there for the audio, but put some, put some music out there or something. You see, I want to do that. Okay, Terrence, <laughs> what you got on, boo? <laughs> she look like she in a music video. Come on now, boo. I'm not mad at the. I'm not mad at the hat, low key. But she said, "I'm gonna get, get these spikes. I'm gonna get these glasses, this leather, this turtleneck with the cutout and the hat." <laughs> you better eat, mama. Eat, mama. <laughs> Wonder that he a model model. Hold on, before we finish talking about this, the the, the fraternity, Liam, I'm gonna need you to stop playing with us with these t-shirts. I said the last season, and he said, "Oh, just a little something, just whatever I had in the closet." Keep playing with me if you want to. <laughs> oh Jesus, I'm gonna get myself in trouble. Let me stop. Okay, back to the fraternity and the studs. Oh, th is this the J? So this is who they call in the low rent, the great value JT. Okay, I was getting confused last episode. Okay, but that fan boo, you got to take that fan away. It's a much more. But it's all she looking at him like, playboy, all these pronouns that we now learn and now know, and you still stuck on fraternity versus sorority and all that stuff. Playboy, it don't matter. Come on now, Liam. He's like, studs? You live in Atlanta. You know studs. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> but again, I, I'm glad they're showing more. I'm glad they're showing more aspects of the queer community. It's a queer show. Show all aspects of our community, you know? Broaden it. And I'm here for it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See, Looking I, like Regina I'm, I'm King from uh, Friday. <laughs> yeah. It's always been after that initial argument. And then from there, it's been kind of like, oh, well. But no accountability is being given. I feel like accountability was given at that moment, but then it's like you don't act different from that time. And I said last season, the second they tried to be manager and all that stuff, that that just don't vibe. And here we go a year later, they still ain't vibing. So we'll see what come out of that. But um, I don't know. Another episode. That was a good episode. You know, it was fine. I like the first episode a little better. But I could see that the storytelling that they're trying to, you know, weave in and out and introducing new folks and reintroducing the, the, the cast that's been there for a minute um, is a little more cohesive than past seasons. So that's good. You know, they're finding their groove a little bit. And, you know, nothing to really critique now. No major drama, which is good. I'm okay with the drama. I've had two years of drama with this cast and this show. So I'm good to go. <laughs> Auntie Carell from Minority Report Podcast. I'm going to be trying to, to catch up with these uh, these episodes and review each episode as quickly as I can. And let me know in the comments. Are you liking my critiques? What's your feedback? What's your feeling on the show? Are you watching the show? What you liking this season? Who are you liking this season? Again, Auntie Carell from Minority Report Podcast. New episodes every single Monday. Subscribe, please. Come on. Come on. Help us get our numbers up. You know, we just had our best year yet. And uh, we continue to, to want to keep on climbing and uh, new new opportunities and things like that. So appreciate you. Share with your family and friends. Share this review with your family and friends. Put this on your social. Post this in your stories. You post everything else, you might as well post us. Come on, ho. <laughs> okay, until next episode, wash your hands, your legs, and your ass. Please. All right.